Hey, hey, what is up, spiritual hooligan? Do you ever feel greedy, like you don't have enough, like you need to go get more, like you're driven by this sort of uh, intense desire to gather it up while you can? Maybe it's love, maybe it's sex, maybe it's food, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's um, pleasure, maybe you just want to binge watch stuff, maybe, maybe it's money, maybe you are afraid about money. These are an expression of a hidden motive to survive called greed. And greed is very, very valuable as a survival process. The only problem is you're not in a survival situation. So today I've written down five powerful practices to help you to start to release greed as a hidden motive so you can go back to feeling peace and joy and flow and love and certainty in your life. My name is Matthew Ferry and I'm bringing you your daily enlightenment right here in the middle of Central Park in New York City, in the middle of all the insanity and the chaos. I want to help you to quiet your mind and restore your peace. And we're going to use enlightened perspectives as a process to do that. And I keep saying it in these daily enlightenments. I'm making a whole bunch of these videos today. And the thing that you need to know is that peace is not an external situation. Peace is an internal situation. And I spent a lot of time in my life trying to get my mind to go quiet. And what I found ultimately was that even after doing four hours of meditation a day, I was still getting waylaid. I was still getting knocked out. I was still going into, in essence, these greedy states that we're going to talk about today. And it took a lot of practice and a lot of investigation to begin to discern that consciousness itself has a survival motive and that the consciousness that is creating you, the, the creative force itself, has greed built in as a survival directive, as a survival motive. So unless you heal or correct this imbalance in your consciousness, what you'll find is you're going to be driven to have a chatty mind and to feel anxiety and, and anger and to feel these drives and these motivations whether you want to or not. Even if you are in your full zen-like, monk-like state, these things will pull you out of your peace. So today, let's talk about greed. So greed is very simple. It's the fear that there won't be enough. Enough love, money, time, um, that there won't be enough uh, distractions or vacations or holidays or pleasure or food or whatever, right? Um, it's some intense like, oh, oh my God, I need to grab it while I can. It's an intense selfish desire for something and we all go through those moments, right? We all have those moments of intense desire for something. So I want to give you five powerful practices that you could take on. This comes from one of my students, Ty, who sent in a, a cheat sheet that he created. He sort of correlated the rapid enlightenment process for himself. And I asked him, can I share it with other people? And he said, sure. So thank you, Ty. So number one practice that I'd like you to consider taking on is extreme gratitude. And extreme gratitude, which I, I think I like to, he's calling it extreme gratitude, I call it mastery level gratitude. And mastery level gratitude would be grateful for the bad stuff, grateful for the negatives, grateful for the stuff that doesn't feel good. I'm wondering if you could begin to expand your point of view and see like, oh wait, the negatives, the good, the bad, the right, you know, all of, it's all part of the process. The second thing is to intentionally release things that you're greedy about, to renounce them. Renunciation is a very, very old spiritual practice which has been very helpful to many of our ancestors and in a lot of ways it would be helpful for you. For example, I have, um, for the most part, renounced sugar. And while I love sugar, I, I found that when I had sugar, it made me greedy for more. Um, last night, for example, I was lounging in my hotel room and in the mini bar was a thing of chocolate, um, you know, chocolate covered nuts. And I thought, ah, you know, I might as well, I'm just kicking back. So I had, I had one and, or two and, and I was like, oh, that was good. And then I finished the entire thing. Greed kicked in. Oh, more, 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 more. And then I had to take a moment and release greed. There's more chocolate in my, in my, um, 
hotel room now, and I have renounced, I've, I've made a purposeful decision, I'm not gonna have that. I did that with alcohol, I did that with, with all kinds of stuff, okay? And so you might wanna do the same thing. Number three is to give away things that you are greedy about. Right, so maybe there's something that you are like particularly proud of and you can't live without. It's just a, this is like a Stuart Wilde kind of thing. I don't know if you've ever read or listened to Infinite Self by Stuart Wilde. It's one of my favorites. And Stu is a Taoist and, and he basically said one of his practices was to renounce and to, and to like the things that your ego wanted the most, boom, you give it away. You give it away, you throw it away, you, you release it in, in your life. So I'm not asking you to do this in a way that is, is uh, you know, crazy or to put yourself at risk. That's not the objective here. The objective is to, um, is to essentially like show the drunk monkey in your head who's boss. Then number four is to be profoundly unconventional in your process, meaning don't do things the way that everybody else does them. And, uh, and really be, uh, be uh, crazy, creative, different, unique, and interesting in the way that you gain the things that you want. So rather than having to go about the conventional ways of being greedy, get everything that you want in an unconventional way, in a creative way, in a, in a fashion that um, is interesting and fun for you rather than like, oh, I need to get it, I need to, I need to go work and make all this money or I need to eat all the food or I need, right, whatever that is. And then finally, release your attachments. I'll put the attachment release uh, link down below to um, a blog post that I created, but attachments are essentially exaggerated fears that we have of losing imaginary benefits. So there's some benefit out there in the future you're imagining, it's not real, and you're afraid, you're afraid to give this thing up or you're afraid to do that thing or whatever it is because you're afraid of losing that imaginary benefit way out there in the future. And I will tell you that uh, it, it, there's no peace when that happens. So intentionally release your attachments. So this is my question for you. Which one of these five things are you gonna employ? Extreme gratitude, intentional release or renounce, give things away that you, that you prize most, be unconventional in getting what you want, or releasing attachment. Leave me a comment down below. I would really love to hear from you. Will you do that for me, please? My name is Matthew Ferry, and I am the author of Quiet Mind, Epic Life. And you watched or listened to this Daily Enlightenment all the way through, so I request that you like it, that you like it, that you comment, and that you share. And that you share it with people that it would make a difference for because those three actions help to spread this message. And I would love for you to help me spread this message. Will you do that for me, please? You can also subscribe to my channel. I put out a new Daily Enlightenment every single day. And you can join us over in the Spiritual Hooligans Facebook group. That's also a place where we are uh, engaging on a regular basis in these conversations. I'll put the link down below for that. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Daily Enlightenment.